Wake up!
Good morning, good morning, good morning. You turn. My goodness, my goodness. It's a shame into glory. I, I love that. I love that. He's the only one who cares. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My heavenly Father cares. Indeed, He cares. My goodness. He turns, he turns, he takes the most, you know, shameful and, and the most disgusting and the most even, you know, weakest things about us and he turns into something beautiful. Oh, what a God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. I want to say good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. We thank you so much for being here with us. What a blessing it is to be with you this morning. Thank you so much for joining us, for allowing us into your virtual space. We pray that God is going to be with you and we pray that God is going to guide you and we pray that God is going to have his hands on you. I pray that you will be drawn closer to him this morning. I pray that as you get up, oh yes, 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 your life is something better that's going to be in your life. Yes, yes. I pray that the situations that's bothering you, I pray that the situations that's just weighing you down, I pray that you will be, you know, firm. And you are going, yes, you are going to face it, right, right, with with square shoulders, you know. You're going to walk up, and, and as you start your day, you will know that he's the only God who cares. And when he cares about you, oh yes, 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 means that you have, you have a host of angels. You have a host of angels ready, ready to fight your battles for you. Yes, they will take charge over thee. Yes, they will. So we welcome you. We welcome you. We thank you so much for being here with us here this morning. We pray that the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you. Yes, as you start your morning, as you get yourself ready for for, for our one hour of devotion, we thank you so much for allowing us to come into your homes. Pastor Wilson is not there right now, but we are going to bring in Elder Ron Wind. Elderwin, good morning to you this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. I invite somebody to worship with me this morning. Right where you are this morning. Just raise your hand this morning and just give God a praise this morning. Just raise your hand this morning because you know the God we serve is a mighty God this morning. Come on, somebody. Just raise your hand and shout, thank you, Jesus. He turned mourning into dancing. Come on. You didn't hear me this morning. He turned graves into garden. Ah, He turned season into harvest. Come on, somebody, worship God this morning. Mm -hmm. What a mighty God we serve. I, 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 I'm just listening to the song, and, and I got so excited this morning. Come on, somebody, just glorify God with me for a minute. Just raise your hands and give him some praise this morning. What a mighty God we serve. Ah, mourning into dancing, graves into garden. Uh, season into harvest. I don't want. I don't know if there's anybody here this morning who just want to dance for the Lord this morning because God has been good to you this morning. Oh, what a mighty God we serve! Glory be to God this morning. He is indeed an awesome God. There's somebody this morning know what I'm talking about. There's somebody this morning who want to get excited simple because they know that God is worthy of all praise this morning he's truly a compassionate loving savior and he is worthy of all our praise this morning good morning to you and i'm delighted that you have joined us this morning once again in our worship uh it's it the, the morning is just so delighted delightful it's already started out beautiful we thank god for for such an infilling this morning what a beautiful song pastor you chose to to start the day this morning it was very fulfilling and uplifting uh it excites me sister marva it just bring this bring me close in in the presence of god this morning i just i just felt like rejoicing this morning mm -hmm. god is such an awesome god and this morning we again we want to say thank you thank you for joining us thank you for joining us and we we pray this morning that as we we worship your hearts will be richly blessed and i challenge you this morning to to reach at least five people from your contact list this morning. That's right, five. Reach out to five people this morning. Uh, we, we did Chew yesterday, and Animal P, Chew R. Yes, that's right, we're going into R today. All right, anybody, anybody in Rebecca, Ron, um, Rachel. <laughs> um, 
um, Rachel, um, uh, Rosemary, um, Rose, um, Rodney, um, Rudolph. You know, even if even if, <laughs> even if he's not the the, the, uh, the red nosed reindeer, anybody. Yeah, I challenge you to find five people persons in your in your in in your contact list this morning under the letter r and share with them this morning just magnify the name of the lord let them know that this morning the god that you serve turned graves into garden and he turned season in, in into harvest and and uh morning into dancing share with somebody this morning the wonders and joy of the god that you serve come on rejoice with us this morning and share with them the goodness of God this morning. Sister Mama, come and greet the folks this morning because I'm so excited this morning. The song just spoke to me specifically this morning and I'm so delighted, my sister. Good morning, it's just joy to see you, good morning. Good morning and happy testimony Tuesday. And as I turned on my phone and I heard that song, I'm like, wow, pastor just know what I needed this morning. And the part of the song that stood out for me was, I am not afraid to show you my weakness, my failures and my flaws. Lord, you've seen them all and you still call me friend. Because the God of the mountain is the God of the valley. That's right, There's that's not right. a place your mercy and grace mm. won't find me again. You turn mourning to dancing. You give beauty for ashes. You turn shame into glory. You're the only God who can. And this morning, type in the comment line, you're the only God who can. And then I just reflected on Psalms 34, verse 1 to 8, which says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. The I Lord. sought the, the Lord, Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears they looked unto him and were lightened and their face were not ashamed the poor man cried and the lord heard him and saved him from all his troubles the angel of the lord encompassed round about them that fear him and delivereth them oh take and see that That's the right. lord is good That's right Blessed oh. is the man that trusteth in him. And I know today is Testimony Tuesday. And I know that someone is going through a test. But here we are with the word of God standing on his promises, knowing that no matter what we are going through, that the Lord will deliver us not from one, not from two, but from all our troubles. And our God will be there covering us and protecting us and seeing us through. So it might be some family member is on that hospital bed. It can be that you're struggling with your debt. It can be that your children are giving you some problem. It can be some marital problem. It can be you trying to serve God and each time you take that one step, you feel you're taking two back. I say to you, you serve a God who can. You serve a God of miracles. You serve a God who can just turn it around when you least expect. So I say to you, keep pressing on and don't give up. Keep calling on the name of God when you think you don't see anything happening because God is great, because God will never, ever fail you. So just keep holding on and trusting God. To those driving, we say, keep your eyes on the road and your phones turned down. It's Testimony Tuesday, and we know a God who can turn things around. I thank you. Amen. Amen. Praise <coughs> the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to just ask our dear sister, um, McFan, to stand by give us, to give us a word of prayer. And, and before we do that, we want to welcome, and then we're going to 
we're going to um, ask Elder Winston to do the prayer text scripture. But before we do that, we want to give an opportunity to tag your loved ones and to let them know. And we are tagging our, <laughs> we are tagging our, and, um, and uh, just tag your loved ones with the letter our, your contact list, access it and, and put our, any, any, any names with our, you know, our Robert Rudolph <laughs> And and <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, I, I saw somebody for red nose. That's why I saw. But anyway, um, uh, we want to say good word to you. We see you, Susan Baptiste and Faye Anderson and Teresa Charles, Laura Bell. We we thank you so much for being with us. Those on GVD TV, Live Destiny TV, those on Liberty Media. I mean, Facebook page and Liberty on television. We say good morning to you. We pray that God's hand is going to be on you. you know, I'm, I'm the, the song, which is which is called from Elevation Worship, it says he turns morning to, to dancing. It was such a beautiful song. So I pray that your morning, this morning, if you're mourning, if you are, if you are mourning, if you are in grief whatever it is god can turn it around and he could use it for his glory for he's the only one who cares no matter how low you go or matter how low you feel in life let god elevate you to a higher place may god bless you we continue to say good morning to christine sinclair and jillian mcintyre killer smith good morning good morning good morning Cameron cat luna williams marlon gill Good morning to you from, uh, you are from St. Lucia, but you're in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Praise the Lord. My goodness. All right. Ingrid Nelson, thank you so much. Oh, praise the Lord. Uh, uh, also, we say good morning to come, come Coletta Reynolds, Wendy Justin, Myrna Starby. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for being here with us and your service of course to the um to the island or to your country we praise god for men like you thank you so much alex henry sophia hill caroline prince spencer um, um philomena hippolyte claire dalfish kevin muir you say good morning to you magdalene lewis um, um good morning good morning good morning to you beth williams um Caroline Prince Spencer, Nursing Man, Minty Gravesand, uh, Sophia Alfred Tailman. Yes, Carol, Carol, Carol Renee, Karen Richards, and and Kimberly Isaac Burrell, Marina Theothane. We say good morning, good morning, good morning to you. We want to make sure we don't miss anybody. We can to continue to say good morning to those on YouTube. Praise the name of the Lord for you. Shout out to the Kingston Parsi. Yes, Barbara Hayes and and Z Man Inc. Dr. Joy. Dr. Joy. Good morning to you, beloved. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, uh, Stanley James and Winsome Edmondson, Denise Martha, Margaret Heskey, Rowena Ashton, Heather Prince, Stanley James, Hermina Edward, Lucita Joseph. Nycott Shaw, good morning to you. Um, Tamisha, I'm sorry, Jennifer Brown. Jennifer Brown, good morning to you. Good morning, Pamela Jean and 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 Estelina Byron. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Farmer Issa, um, Stanley James, Mel Mack, the Mac Attack. <laughs> good morning to you. Winston Edmondson. And also, we say good morning to Humina Edwards, Sandra Ayodali, Pamela Jean, um, Laura Jackson, and Cheryl Roberts. We say good morning to you. We have a special request. Um, put it in the. I cannot. I don't have access to the chat room. It's not open. So put it in this. In this group in the chat room over here, sisters. And we are going to address it right away. Let's do the prayer request and sorry, the the, the prayer tax scripture. And that's going to be done by Elder Ron Wint. Go ahead, my bro. Let's do the prayer text scripture. Our text is in the book of 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 3. But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. Praise the Lord. What a powerful text that uh, song this morning that fits so much 
uh, with the, this text this morning, the Lord is faithful. In his faithfulness, God will turn season into harvest. He will turn graves into garden. He will turn your sorrows into joy. He will turn your mourning into laughter. The faithfulness of God, brothers and sisters, will elevate you and I from the valley of the shadow of death and bring us to a mountaintop of praise this morning. And I want you to know this morning that because God is faithful, all that is required of you and I is a mustard seed of faith. And if you and I have a mustard seed of faith, we can be sure that our joy is assured. Ah, let me say that again. Because of God's faithfulness, we can be assured that if we have a mustard seed of faith, our joy will be turned into sorrow, our mourning into laughter. And this morning, I want somebody just rejoice because we know that the faithfulness of God will elevate you. Come on, somebody this morning, just shout hallelujah because you know that God's going to elevate you today. He's going to elevate you today because you've put your trust in his faithfulness and ah uh, let me close let me close in saying to you the faithfulness faithfulness of god is simple that he cannot lie <laughs> brother brothers and sister he cannot lie he cannot lie he promises never to leave you nor forsake you i he will be your comforter in the time of need so this morning let's look to jesus and put lift ourselves with this blessed hope that God's faithfulness will see us through these trying times. God bless you and have a blessed day in the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much, Elder. Um, Sister Mel, my comment. We have a special request, Sister Mac. I'm going to read it and you could um, you could just emphasize that specific person, individual's request in prayer. It's, um, it's from Sister Nursing Man. She says, please pray for me and loved ones of a church sister who was killed in a car accident on on sabbath morning on her way to church another church sister sustained life as threatening injuries let us pray for god to heal her according to this will but we serve a mighty and powerful god so sister nursing man and, and church family and family keep in prayer sustained um someone else one of the just was killed in a car accident while traveling to church. Go ahead, Sister Mac. Give us a word of prayer. Good morning, everyone. We just want to, to give God thanks and praise for this another Tuesday. Uh, the word says that the Lord is a sun and a shield. He gives grace and glory and no good thing would he withhold from us. He saw that we needed his spirit and so he put that out on us. We needed shelter. He placed one over our head. It may be, it may not be the best, but we're not getting wet. Yes. So we are just giving God thanks and praise yeah, for all that he has praise. done for us this morning. Let us pray. Gracious Father and God in heaven, it is always such a delight to begin our morning with you. Dear Lord Father, to yeah. come into your courts, dear Father, to praise you, almighty God, to lift you up, dear Lord Father, because we realize the more that we are drawn to you, dear Lord Father, the less that we are worth, dear Lord Father. But the more that we draw, the more that you give to us. And so this morning, we just praise your name and we just raise our hands and we say, Hallelujah! Praise Father God, Lord. thank you for your loving mercies, to, your, um, your loving kindness towards us, gracious Lord. Father, we ask for forgiveness of sin and cleansing from all unrighteousness, dear God Father, that we may be worthy even to be in your presence, dear God. We present, wake up before you this morning as the word is about to be presented, dear Father. We pray for the presence of your Holy Spirit, dear Father. And that for ministering angels to reach out to everyone who has access, dear Father, to this platform. That as your word is presented, dear Father, that something within us, dear Father, may be triggered to try a little harder, to try to be better, to try to be more like Christ. Father God, we join with... Um, nursing man dear father at this morning this morning dear god father as she grieves the passing of one church sister almighty god father and she's asking for for deliverance for another almighty god father on her way to church sabbath morning dear god have mercy upon her family 
mm. dear Lord Father, because sometimes we can never understand why, mm. why dear God Father. But dear God Father, we hold on to the faith and the promise that you made that those who die in Christ <clears throat> shall live again almighty god yes. and so we pray for the comfort of our sister's family even now and for the other one almighty god father who is fighting dear god father dear lord we pray for healing dear god father that your will may be done we still believe in the healing balm of gilead and so Amen. dear lord we know there are so many dear god father that you have out of very dark places dear father that everyone thought hey that was it for them dear god father we have mm -hmm. elder stevens dear god father as testimony that you are able to do amazing things dear god and so we present this sister before you dear lord and we ask that you may work things out on her behalf we ask for healing yes. we ask for recovery almighty god father we pray dear father even for those who are around her dear father that they too when they pray that they may believe that you are able to sustain, that you are able to heal, that you are able to deliver. You said in your word that when we pray, we ought to believe it and we shall have mm. it. So dear God, Father, we are asking for that measure of faith. Dear God, that yeah. when we open our mouths and when we lift our hearts heavenwards, that we are in one accord and we are all praying for the same thing and that is for recovery of health. Father, continue yeah. to be with us once again, dear Lord. Father, whatever it is, or the needs that we have that we are unable to present before you at this time, dear God, Father, we know that you will continue to bless us according to your will. We give you all praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Let's get right into the word. We are we are still on the same chapter. Yes. And, and we are on page 94, 95. We spoke about the ark. We gave you context. Of what happened to the ark and we talked about how and even re religion can be a distraction to God you know and, and we find ourselves into a very important you know part of our lives where where we see that God is no respect of person and if we're not careful the enemy can turn things or our positions as an idol can you imagine that it, it, it could turn certain relationships as an idol it, it, it can turn the way we feel about paying our tithes or the way we feel about <laughs> about the selfish decisions we make and the way we cherish it the way we look at it it could be a form of idolatry mm. it made us think yesterday they make us ask ourselves is god glorified and does god come first in everything when is the enemy i mean that is such a powerful and insidious way of 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 allowing us to lose our soul salvation Hophni and phineas you know did not see it coming they did not see it coming they played right into their hands it is not that the ark was not used to go into battle it is the, the question is did god allow it is it ordained by god yes and where is the prophet where is the, the leaders did not entreat and say one person and say guys let's let, let's get back to the drawing table and let's seek the lord nobody did that and as a result the decisions they made were so bad it became a problem for God's people. Let's turn our Bibles to second to second second Samuel and, and we are going to we are gonna talk about you know Azza. Yeah 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 Azza was the one who touched the ark remember now we're going into a phase where the ark is being transported you know from because remember the, what happened at the Philistines the Philistines couldn't handle the ark they couldn't handle it they couldn't handle it so now the ark is retrieved and and and, we, and david is he's taking the ark to a different location and then we see that the problem where the ark is is mishandled or the or, or the, the ark is being used in a way where god did not intend it again david again gather all the chosen men of israel thirty thousand. listen to that 
And David arose and went with all the people. That's in 2 Samuel 6, 1-7. From Baalil, Judah, to bring up from the ark of God, which is called by the name of the Lord of hosts, who sits in the throne of the cherubims. And they carried the ark of God, listen to this, on a new cart, and brought it out of the house of Abinadab, who was on the hill. And Uzzah and, and Ayo, the sons of Abinadab, were driving the new cart with the ark of God, and Ayo went before the ark. Now, we know that not even the priest nobody was the nobody was supposed to touch the ark the priest carried the ark we remember what the priest what the ark was represented we remember where the ark was we, we we read about that yesterday we don't have to go back to this but 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 these two men right the sons of um abinadab and and david and all the house of israel were celebrated before the lord and the songs and the lures and harps and tambourines and and catanets and cymbals and when they came to the threshing floor of Nikon, Azza put out his hands to the ark of God and took hold of it, for the oxen stumbled. And the anger of the Lord, the Bible says that God was angry. It takes a lot to get God angry. But the Bible says the anger of the Lord was kindled against uh, um, Uzza or Azza. It depends on you know how you want to pronounce that and how difficult it is for you and god struck him down there because of the of his error and he died there besides the ark of the lord let us pray father we invite you into our meat we have you ask to have your way in jesus name amen my goodness uh, that that's a tough one it really is because we say man god he was trying to help the ark from stop from from stumbling <laughs> he was trying to prevent the ark from falling he was trying to prevent it from falling i don't know about you sister Carolyn prince spencer but that would be a tough act to follow but we we look and we look, we look to explore this and understand what happened and how can we apply this to our lives you see the ark of the covenant had had for years been stored in a tent in the old military capital of Behal of Judah <laughs> because the Philistines couldn't can handle God's ark because Behal worshipped the ark. <laughs> Behal bent down and said, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, yes, yes, yes. You might be saying, How, how can Behal, <laughs> who has no feet, <laughs> uh, not Behal, say, uh, Dagon, my, my apologies, Dagon, it was the the god of the Philistine was called Dagon. Dagon had a he had no feet. He had fiends for fish. <laughs> he had a, half of his body was man and he had a fish tail. I I, I think yes, I distinctly remember Dagon. Yes. <laughs> Dagon bow down. Now you might be saying how can concrete and stones and and bow down? I don't know but <laughs> If the Bible, if Jesus says all oh, the rocks will cry out, why can that Dagon cry out? He's made of rocks and he's made of stones. He can cry out. And then the Bible says everything shall bow down, and every every material, every every being shall confess. I don't know how Dagon did it. I don't know. All I know is he he found flat on his face. <laughs> Oh, yes, he praised God so much, <laughs> you know, he was consumed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, David said to himself, how can we say we serve the Lord of Israel unless the ark is here? We need that blessed presence. We must bring the ark to Jerusalem. David organized a splendid parade to bring, and I'm reading from page 94, um, from Baal of Judah up to Jerusalem, and the ark was carefully loaded onto an ox art cart. Now, you know, you live in a day of age where, you know, the rides were off. You know, we, we, we have beautiful roads here, asphalt, pitched, very nice. You get a smooth ride on a, on a, on a, cart or an ox cart you know what ox cart is it's something used to 
to um <laughs> oh goodness yes yes it is it, used for for farming it is used to carry heavy heavy loads yes uh, and david was going to bring the ark to jerusalem in a in a philistine intervention right they they they, they, they had no you know abs you know no 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 kind of like you know we have they put shocks on the car to just you know handle the tension of the rocks the stumbling terrain you know <laughs> road to, to to avoid to give you a smooth you know in and out or up and down with potholes and and, and stones you know when the roads are rough you know you know these 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 vehicles that have the good springs and good tensions they're able to maneuver but we don't live in those days and age i mean so so either the ox was going fast or the road was rough but 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 they put it on this ox cart you know and david intended to bring the ark of the government to jerusalem in the same way he he had stolen a malachite loot to jerusalem Let's go down to Baal of Judah and bring the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem. Bringing back the Ark was a good decision. It was the right decision. And there we go again. Sometimes we do the right thing but in the wrong way. Or, 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 or we, we, we say the, the right thing but at the wrong time. You know, we, we want to represent God. Our hearts are in the right place. Uh, but the way it's done and in the attitude it's done and, and it's mediocre it, it 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 brings it brings god's great sadness for us to want to do certain things but yet our hearts are still divided and selfish and we are just doing it for 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 for, for just doing sake you know it was a good decision and the ark of the covenant was never supposed to be carried on an ox cart it was supposed to be carried on the shoulders of priest when the ox cart lurched in a creek bed and the ark causing the ark to wobble a well-intentioned man named Urza, foolishly he put out his hands to steady the ark and the scripture says then the lord's anger was aroused against us Hold on, God, I'm trying to help you. Hold on, God, I'm, I'm trying to prevent your, your, um, your, your holy thing from stumbling out of control. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, I, I, I am trying to pres preserve you from shame or from, you know, ridicule. I'm, I'm trying to help you, God. The Bible says that when... Asa tried to help God from stumbling. <laughs> God struck him dead because of this. So Asa dies before this persistence of God. D David was very confused because the Bible says that David doesn't continue. The party stopped. The prison stopped. <laughs> the drums stopped playing. Have you ever been in prison? Have you ever gone to a prison worship service and something happened so terribly that the entire mood changed? That's what's going on. And Azar's motive since of God was pure. Yes, he was trying because David was trying to do God's will. But Azar's motive, it was pure. Yet he ended up dead in a creek bed. David realized that. He didn't go any further. But let's get into the explanations because we run out of time. It would be easy to hear the story of Azar and, and the ark and accuse God. And Azar was trying to, to help God, right? He didn't want the ark of the covenant to get all muddy. And what's the harm in that? The harm is this sense of God. God does not need our help. <laughs> you, you don't need to prop him up. He does not need propping up. If you have to do, you know, God's will, understand, you, you, you cannot overshadow what God is doing. Yes, yes. All who he is. Because he says, if I am lifted up, and, and you may be saying, well, I'm trying to lift him up. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. You see, propping God up has been one of the major pitfalls in the evangelism, in, in the evangelical, the evangelical community, the evangelism community. Embroiling testimony, and, and sometimes you could see some folks exaggerating miracles, um, leaving out details, you know, cutting corners. You see, God does not need us to 
prop him up or help him save face. Uh, we, 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 we don't play the truth. We, we are afraid to tell people about the Sabbath. We, we are terrified about telling them that what they're doing is wrong. Uh, now, now, again, 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 there's certain times and places to address those things. Um, but we cannot do it in the, we cannot do it in a way where God, where we believe that, well, I am helping God save face. I'm helping him, you know, uh, oh, because he needs help. He, 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 no, because remember, sister, God got it under control. It, it, and again, it, it is the way and time and place. The first mistake David did as the leader, because ultimately we have to hold him responsible. Where are the priests? Well, where, uh, where is the priest to carry it the right way? You knew it had to be carried that way. And, and, and what's the rush? Why, why wasn't somebody paying attention to how it was being carried? Jesus of God. You see, and then one more thing. It was being carried on, on Philistine intervention. All right? Which signifies that it was a pagan country that was carrying God's power. He, God didn't, didn't need a helping hand because says of God, God can take care of himself. Everything God allows, he says, he has already ordained or it has already been ordained somehow, somewhere in the Bible. There are instructions, there are prescriptions. There are certain things that we don't change, we amend, or or, or it is done in twenty twenty some for you know not in a not 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 in a different way, but but what has never changed is the message have not changed. Prayer still works. Nothing can replace prayer. Worship still works. Nothing can replace worship. And the way it it, it has been conducted, have we have to be very careful we have to be very careful how we we execute it or else souls can lose their lives we want to do things and and we change the truth and we we don't play with the word of god and we are terrified of telling people that they are wrong and that's not what god has intended no god wants us right to let him be God because the moment we misrepresent who God is and his presence, souls can lose their life. The moment we change the way we represent who God is, souls can lose their life. Listen, I am not interested and I pray that God gives me the strength so that I go and do things in a way where he and only he gets the glory yes and we 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 i am always a, a firm believer of doing things differently but if doing things differently comes at the expense um, where, 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 where where god is hidden where, 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 where god's anger is skill at me god please just give me the power and the discernment to see it and i just want the world to know that he is elevated for when he is lifted up you know the opposite happens folks get drawn to him and they are saved instead of losing their lives you have heard this story over and over again and, and sometimes it is difficult it is difficult to see how certain decisions are met with life-changing consequences life-changing consequences as i was trying to do the right thing but because of the way the way it had already started somebody paid the price we pray that will not be you you will not pay the price because because of somebody else's mistake we pray that you will not pay such a high price for what you know for david's mistake for the davids in our life that are trying that are trying to do God's will. David 
should have done better. Now, David learned his lesson. That's one thing about David. <laughs> he learned his lesson because tomorrow we're going to read about how he, he did not want to take the ark because he understood that the ark is not something to be trifled with. And he says, if God does not need an ark to show or to prove to me that he is with me. He learned that. Because later on, when the, the rebellion of Absalom um, um, happens, he understood that. So now he said, no, God's presence is enough. You are saying God's presence is enough. I don't need to help God. I I I I I I don't need to 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 have him, you know, physically, you know, be with me for certain things. Anywhere with Jesus, I can safely go because He's with me. He's with me, and 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 God, I just want you to be elevated in my life because you are God or God by yourself. Just press one. You're pressing one. You're pressing one because you're signifying that God, I I, I need, I need you with me. I need you to help me. You are my help. My help comes from you. You are my help. My help comes from you. You're the source of my strength. It comes from you. Just press one. Just press one. God, I don't want to worship nothing except you. I want to put you first. I, I can put my family first. I want to put you and only you first. Just press one. Just press one. Your church is going through a situation. Pay attention. Pay attention. It doesn't mean you don't support. It doesn't mean you stay away. All you do is just make sure you put God first. You elevate him. Yes. And he's going to direct your power. In everything you do, acknowledge him. Everything you do, acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. Oh, may God be praised. Let, let's, let's, we, we got to go. Let's ask Sister Pope to, um, to prepare for prayer. But quickly, Elder Wint, we're going to ask him to just, you know, close us off just quickly. And then we are going to go into uh, I would have prayed after Sister Pope is going to talk. Let's go ahead, Elder. Yeah, um, and before Sister Pope up, I just want to say, Saints, let's 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 align ourselves with God principle and precepts. God principle is in place, simple for our guidance. God is God and God by Himself, and mm -hmm. He sees and knows everything. And the principles and precepts that is uh, He has outlined is for you and I to be closer drawn to him and to be elevated uh, um, above sin. And if, if we stay in, in line with God's precept, then we shall not be victim of disobedience. I pray that from today's lesson, you and I will learn to be closer drawn to God and be aligned with his precept. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Just hope. Good morning, saints of God. Let's pray. Eternal and most merciful Father, we truly thank you for another day. We thank you for another time in your word where we can listen to your still small voice speaking to us. I pray, Heavenly Father, that your Holy Spirit will take full control of our lives as we go out today. This morning, Father, I pray for the bereaved families here, there, and everywhere. Continue to guide and direct, Lord. Continue to lead us aright in spirit and in truth. Help us, O oh God, to keep our eyes fixed on you, for we know that you are coming soon to take us from the sin cause or to the home which you have gone to prepare for us. Yes. So until then we wait upon you father and we give you thanks we give you praise for all that you have done unto us continue to bless us and guide us i ask in jesus holy and precious name amen amen, amen. 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 praise the lord amen is to write the values that we live by and to evaluate whether they are in sync with the principles of god and if they are not what steps are we going to take to improve them so that we could live by the principles that god has set for us and the question today is are we investing in our lives by paying the price needed to succeed i thank you praise the lord Amen. Man, we thank you so much for being again with us. We we stand for us to go. We try our best to finish by five five fifty five to give all our partners enough time to get ready for the next program change. And but please before we go any further, we pray that you'll be a blessing to us. We pray that 
you will keep us in your prayer your presence also matters and the monies that you have given helps do us do better yes we've been it's been our we are now fourth yeah mm -mm. yes we are and you've been a blessing to us and whatever you have done it's been such a tremendous you know encouragement to us it ain't easy but your presence matters so we thank you we thank you we thank you for what you've done for us we leave you with this song okay um my goodness i'm so sorry D there it is there it is there it is there it is you are not forgotten may you be blessed God's people, some preachers and some teachers, and you fight a warfare every day, the eye just cannot see, and the more you serve God longer, your faith in Him gets stronger, and your banner is the cross of Christ that gives you victory you are God's soldiers committed to fight you are God's soldiers willing to die and we know that it won't be very long till I commander in chief will take us home you are not forgotten you are not forsaken no you will be remembered with a robe and with a crown and when the mission is completed and the devil is Our Savior's arms, you will be welcome home again to our loving Savior's arms. You will be welcome home again to our loving Savior's arms. You'll be welcome home again to the Savior's. Arms, you were not forgotten.